Hey, it's Dave Mechanic Addict and welcome to the small vlog. Today we're going to speak about tools, what you will need for a quick trip at the scrapyard so you're sure to come back with your part or to go help your friend without going to see him with only a pair of pliers. Here we go! So here it is, base tool set. If you go help your friend or just go for a quick trip, at the junkyard. Let's start over here. Screwdriver kit. Everything is inside. Pay like 20, 25 bucks on sale. You got pretty much every size you will need besides those rubber sewn one. I'm pretty sure you will never use them in a car or if you have to use it in a car you don't know what you're doing. So let's put them aside go around here rest of the screwdriver the big Phillips every size always good to be sure you have them in your kit the baby one the medium one and the big one that's a base tool set like I told you 20 25 bucks on sale and the bags comes with it which I suggest next to it lifesaver nut remover you can find those not at many places pretty much Canadian Tire not to name them but here it is they come in pack of two they're worth something around 50 bucks full price but on sale again you get, you're gonna get them around 20 bucks and they're gonna say just save your life every time you come to a nut that is rusted through that is half dead or that someone before you at the scrapyard just rounded the nut so slick that nothing will grip on it not even a vice grip you take those it comes right off this thing is like a jaw that grips the nut completely tight with the teeth inside and remove it you can only unscrew with it you can't screw with those impossible so you take those this is not mandatory but lifesaver basic pliers again you can buy a bigger set than this for 25 30 dollar when it's on sale but as the essential that i'm gonna bring with me there's the regular adjustable pliers we do the do the job for pretty much every work a good pair of locking vice grip vice grip you saw them before i showed them before but yeah long nose flyer i prefer 45 degree but straight long nose is pretty good but you will need a pair of long nose flyer with you and a pair of cutter pretty much for wiring or cutting clip if it's your car please don't cut anything uselessly at the scrapyard but again for the scrapyard we're gonna have a different video different topic for those then we go 3H ratchet I use this one just because it's extendable if you need to put strength on it you have the extra leverage with the handle with the sockets and everything again it's like 50 55 bucks if you buy it on sale I think for 23 25 dollar you can manage to have both socket set which are 12 sided one good for Volkswagen or any other car six pan nuts are gonna be perfect in those you have an Imperial and a metric one I mainly use metric but the Imperial one is gonna help you on every size in between the metric sizes you don't have with this small kit but one ratchet no need for the portable ratchet set like this one if you have one perfect you got pretty much everything as as it goes for ratchet but if you don't just go buy a good one that's gonna last you spark plug socket self-explanatory do I really have to tell you what they're used for spark plug socket three half an inch drive 
socket mainly for the wheel nut a 21 a 19 and a 17 pretty much you're gonna do 95 percent of the car with those 17 is mostly euro and volkswagen 19 millimeter can go from anywhere japanese or american mainly american which is three quarter but 19 and three quarter are the same size and 21 most japanese and asian car run with those extensions yeah i say extensions bring two not to have a longer one have a long one and a short one just to adapt yourself to any angle any job sometimes you have only space for the small one only space for a long socket or you need to extend your reach to go buy a part or go buy something that's blocking your way and if you don't have long enough you put them together and that's it regular combination wrench regular combination wrench uh, those kits are always coming in sale anywhere any kind don't go crazy yes the good one like the I don't know snap on or Mac tool are better yeah they are but still those do the job they will last long this set I have for the last what five years something like that so no they're not like that worn out basically I changed my set because I lost some of the other one going at the scrapyard again or going out friend or maybe I broke one or. but I ended up buying this one you need those seven one Prince, like mainly those don't you can go for a 14 set 12 wrench set if you like 10 wrench set okay fine as long as you have the 8 the 10 the 12 14 15 17 and 19 you will be pretty much covered on a japanese car otherwise go for more size more and more manufacturer use uh, the matrix the matrix setting matrix size for their nut nowadays but you can still find an imperial one somewhere so yeah go for the minimally those one next to this pry bar i know there's a small crowbar and a pry bar uh, at least bring one of the two with you so if you have to put some string or something splitting two parts or maybe opening something you will have the pry bar i prefer this one for the scrapyard because got different kind of leverage on it and you still have grip if you need to put strength on it but regular pry bar buy a longer one if you have a chance I can't find my long long one that's only the only reason why I put this one here but still not very expensive but a lifesaver guess what a hammer yeah it's not a mechanic hammer but basically grab yourself a good steel mallet good mechanic hammer that's gonna help you convince ball joint all of their hole all the time that's gonna convince bolt out of their hole all the time so yeah you will need a hammer if it's just one throws a lock nut or a lock bolt you will love it and then the big ratchet bar and yes ratchet bar a fixed one like the one in the corner is gonna be helpful but what you need is this one with the ratchet tip on it that's gonna be your main tool if you don't have an impact gun if you don't have anything to remove like big large size bolts that are often stuck or very 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 tight like chassis bolts strut bolts uh, <laughs> will not you use this one with the three socket I shown earlier that's basically what you need because yeah the scrapyard they remove the wheel and you can still manage to no they remove most of the bolts but they do it while the car is in the air so they often leave one so have fun removing one nut by hand or with with a small ratchet while in the air very nice and if your friend wants you to work on this car you'll be able to remove his wheel yes assuming you have a good jack and jack stand i can't stress enough you use two jack stand every time you lift the car this way you're safe you lift it up securely properly nothing's gonna happen 
uh, if you want to make sure put the wheel you just remove under the car yeah but you will sc you will scratch my mag wheel if the car fall yeah but you might not die so depend of how you value your life you prefer dying or scratching your mag wheel your choice and a binder yeah a binder uh, if you remove a steering rack hooking up to whatever you can in the car so it don't go down if you do calipers like taking the caliper and hanging it over the wheel behind the wheel near where you work so there's no strength no stress on the brake line always very useful all of this pretty much bought on sale will cost you under $125 or around that and the most beautiful thing besides the hammer and this bar everything will fit in this bag so that's not that's not a tool set to be a mechanic that's a base tool set to maybe help someone start a project or go grab a part and just to show you we're gonna put them back in the bag to see if what I said is true. Socket, spark plug socket, three wheel socket. Oh, yes, Allen key. I could have shown you to have a big big set of allen key but this is a small metric one this is portable foldable doesn't take a lot of place and you don't need to have all those allen key with you when you go around yes I do have a big kit yes I do have everything but as I'm telling you I'm not carrying this around every time I'm going in the scrapyard so you saw my scrapyard bag it's way bigger but I was not gonna explain to you uh, how to pull up a tool set that is like 45 pounds in your back every time you walk at the scrap yard yeah that's what I carry the pliers yeah pliers sorry for that extension the wrench and the pry bar which normally fit in that fit in this bag here it is the binder that's your main base tool set in this bag not very big not very heavy maybe 20 pounds something like that that's gonna help you that was my base tool set so go ahead leave a like and comment let's see each other in the next video you can visit me on facebook at mechanic addict bye